Forjax Marine and Defence has a rich history in the Australian shipbuilding industry. Originating from Newcastle, New South Wales, the company followed a similar path as Carrington Slipways until acquiring its assets in the late 1990s. Carrington Slipways grew steadily from the late 1950s through to the early 1990s. The company built various vessels from Sydney Harbour ferries to large naval ships and a range of other vessels. In the early 1990s, the Australian Submarine Corporation purchased the facilities and utilised the skilled workforce in the construction of modules for the Collins-class submarines. In the meantime, Stephen Forjax, a Hungarian emigrant, formed the company Forjax and from modest beginnings, built up his engineering business. In 1987, he purchased the large floating dock located in Newcastle Harbour from the State Dockyard and in 1998, purchased the Newcastle Tomago Shipyard from the Australian Submarine Corporation. Between the late 1980s and 2016, Forjax built several vessels in Newcastle. In 2008, Forjax won contracts to supply modules for the three new Royal Australian Navy Air Warfare Destroyers. By 2015, Forjax had completed their contract, which equated to 40% of the three Air Warfare Destroyers. In February 2016, Sivmec acquired the shipyard and assets of Forjax. Sivmec, formed in 2009, and grew from basic beginnings in Henderson, Western Australia, where the company set up its headquarters and built what is now Australia's largest fabrication facility. Today, the company operates in four market sectors, infrastructure, metals and minerals, oil and gas, and defence. After acquiring Forjax, the company commenced an upgrade of the Newcastle facility with the aim to make it the largest fabrication and shipbuilding facility on the east coast of Australia. On the west coast, the company has extended its land holding in the Australian Marine Complex at Henderson. This will enable the company to construct a purpose-built facility that will be Australia's largest undercover shipyard, designed to accommodate vessels as large as entire air warfare destroyers. The facility is complemented by the capabilities of the adjacent common user facility of the Australian Marine Complex, in particular the floating dock and transfer system. Like Civmec's existing facilities, supporting the infrastructure and resource sectors, the new facility will become a hub for local companies to participate and develop their expertise in shipbuilding and in-service support programs. The new workshop building has a design life of over 100 years and will enable employment and training for Western Australians well into the next century. Constructing a dedicated shipbuilding facility means that there will be no disruption to Civmec's existing capacity, ensuring that service to infrastructure, oil and gas and metals and minerals clients is maintained. In the new shipbuilding facility, security cleared personnel will be able to enter the building and proceed to their work area efficiently, allowing the workforce to comfortably carry out their duties with no downtime. The building will be a clean environment with vacuum systems to remove any dust, aluminium or iron filings from the work area. This will ensure there is no cross-contamination of materials. Every element of the facility has been carefully designed for maximum productivity and efficient use of the available space. For example, there will be a pipe and aluminium fabrication workshop underneath the offices and an automated logistics storage system above. The electrical and HVAC workshops will be situated under the specially designed work platforms. The work platforms will be easily accessed by the use of large lifts capable of carrying forklifts. Each level will have their own offices and amenities to cater for more than a thousand personnel at any one time. To support the new shipbuilding facility and to manage material traceability, Forjax will utilise Civmec's in-house tracking and document management system, CivTrack. Civmec's existing workshops will also be used. This will include the use of its material handling equipment, profile cutting, pressing and shaping and panel line. Initial blocks will be produced and transported with ease using existing transporting systems to the new blast and paint facility. This facility will be big enough to house large modules or complete small vessels and it will have the latest blast recovery systems enabling ongoing recycling of blast material. From here, the structures will continue their journey to the shipbuilding hall to start the process of fit out and assembly. 
The ships will be built on purpose-built transport frames, which will be designed to suit the AMC transporters and the floating dock. Ships requiring maintenance can also be docked on the floating dock and moved inside the facility out of the elements for maintenance and repairs. This innovative and exciting development of strategic infrastructure is a major investment for the Western Australian economy. Forjax, the future of Australian shipbuilding. A Sivmec company.